because it's no fun when your spirit is undone. Unraveling down the hole in the barrel of a shotgun. You got to thinking you're better than me. Look inside yourself and what do you see? Happy day, guys. Welcome to another episode of Snap Political. So glad you're with me. Let's get into this GOP debate. What y'all got to say about that, guys? How you feeling? Woo-hoo. They had some really, really good highlights, man. And this is what this is this is what this video is. It is truly just a glimpse of the highlights, and we're gonna tap into that. Second Republican debate of the 2024 primary, live from the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library in Simi Valley, California. Joe Biden should not be on the picket line. He should be on the southern border working to close our southern border because it is unsafe, wide open, and insecure. Look, I do disagree with something Tim Scott just said. Joe Biden doesn't belong on a picket line. He belongs on the unemployment line. As president of the United Man, States, that's I'll be standing with workers all across America, and I'll be standing for the right to work of every American to join a union or not join a union as they decide. Okay, if the government pets. shuts down, should voters blame populist Republicans? Voters should blame everybody who's in Washington, D.C. Where's Joe Biden? Mm. He's completely missing in action from leadership. And you know who else is missing in action? Donald Trump is missing in action. He should be on this stage tonight. He I don't agree with that. You. He on his own platform, okay? Leave Trump alone. He's not going to get up there with y'all because all y'all going to do is want to attack him and what he did when he was in office. Okay? So Trump is being very smart. And when you're number one in the front running, why you need to be that in a way? Doing his own thing. I love it. To defend his record, mm-hmm. where they added $7.8 trillion to the debt. And I want to look at that camera right now and tell you, Donald, I know you're watching. You can't help yourself. I know you're watching. Okay? And you're not here tonight. Not because of polls and not because of your indictments. You're not here tonight because you're afraid of being on the stage and defending your record. Y'all believe that? Do you actually believe he's not there because he's afraid of defending his record? I don't believe that. You know, he does not back down from a, um, from a fight, from a debate. I don't believe that at all. He's, I feel like he's honestly being smart and he's going on other platforms that are going to recognize and focus on him and what he's going to do for our country, plus what he's already done. Now, he talked about the debt. And yes, but what happened was the COVID relief, you know, some of the funds that went out for that. I get it. And yeah, I mean, I like how they're saying both both parties need to take accountability. It's, it's both parties. It's both parties. But where are we right now today? Who got us in this mess today? You're ducking these things. And let me tell you what's going to happen. You keep doing that. No one up here is going to call you Donald Trump anymore. We're going to call you Donald Duck. You have said Slaves develop skills in spite of slavery, not because of it. But many are still hurt. For the sentence of slaves, this is personal. What is your message to them? So first of all, that's a hoax that was perpetrated by Kamala Harris. Uh, We are not going to be doing that. Second of all, that was written by descendants of slaves. These are great black history scholars. So we need to stop playing these games. Let's go. Let's go. Redeeming quality in slavery. He and Kamala should have just taken the one sentence out. I have a radical idea for the Republican Party. We need to win elections. And part of how we win elections is reaching the next generation of young Americans where they are. So when I get into office, I've been very clear. Kids under the age of social, under the age of 16, should not be using addictive social media. This is infuriating because TikTok is one of the most dangerous social media apps that we could have. And what you've got, I honestly, every time I hear you, I feel a little bit dumber for what you say. You've gone and you've helped China build, make medicines in China, not America. You are now wanting kids to go and get on the social media that's dangerous for all of us. You went and you were in business with the Chinese that gave Hunter Biden $5 million. We can't trust you. Polls don't elect presidents. Voters elect presidents. And we're going to take the case of the people in these early states. We're going to do it in a state-by-state direction. And why? Because as Reagan said in his day, this is our time for choosing. Okay, guys. So what do y'all think about that debate for those of you who watched last night? I think they really came with it this time around. The first one, you know, we got to see who really came prepared. And we know Vivek took that thing away. Ron DeSantis. He brought it this time. I feel like he did. So those, the camera that, to me, the top four runners would be DeSantis, Ramaswamy, Tim Scott, and uh, Haley, Nikki Haley. They came with some heat. Mike Penn said his two piece. I know there was another um, guy up there. 
I don't even remember his name because he's just, to me, not even in a race. But anyway, those are the top four. I mean, that's what the polls are saying anyway. I don't know where Chris Christie is in that. I forgot about him. Um, not really a fan. But those, to me, are the top four. I think Christie, Christie is down there below Scott. So weeks ago, it was... Trump, it was DeSantis, Haley, and then Ramaswamy had been, been bumped down. Scott, I think, and then, no, Chrissy, and then Scott. So I got to see now what it is. But man, they came with it. They came with it. And I like the approach and I like how DeSantis is responding. And maybe he should have taken that sentence out. I, I kind of feel that way. You know, that was the one that was calling the most controversy. But on the flip side, if you look at it from a different perspective, I can see where he made that statement. How, you know, how, how the statement it could be viewed. But nevertheless, because it caused so much of an uproar and the majority of people didn't see it from that perspective, it would have been beneficial if it had just been taken out. Now, the descendants of slavery, that's a whole nother video for me, guys. And you know how I feel about that. It's 2024. And that is going to be a mark in history um, until the end of time. How long do you allow that to be an excuse as to why you can't come up? I'm sorry. And that's exactly what it is. I feel it's an excuse as to why you can't prevail. Too many black people are successful and billionaires now in America. So what is your excuse and what's your rationale? We came from the same descendants. OK, so how can they do it? And yet you still over here griping about slavery. I, I just can't stand that. Moving on from that. Let's talk about um, Vivek. There were a couple of issues that he discussed where they were really getting in on him about his connections, the things with China, the billionaires that paid into his, you know, that he received money from at one point. And I feel like if he, you know, acknowledges, denounces, moves on. But I really felt good about, you know, his responses and how he answered the questions. I mean, and his idea about business and how we can get the um, the economic hardship that we have how to look at the zero balance budget um they all were giving some some great insight and input man and also the border guys the crisis at the border is just unheard of and people are still coming in now from the perspective of not just how it's impacting our country but how it impacts those who are also coming across and that's another perspective to look at it many of them are not making it children included women are being it's just out i can't even discuss how what i'm hearing what they're saying about how women are being treated and abused this is it's not a win situation for us and it's not a win situation for many of them okay so how we can take it back and get things in order the policy it needs to be put in place immediately and i like how they called joe out how he ain't even he ain't even on the scene He's not even on the scene. Where is the man? Where is the president? <laughs> I mean, y'all, where is the president? Okay. This was really good. This was really good. I enjoyed this way, way more. Their engagement, how they came at the issues. And, you know, they had, they had some little snide comments in there, y'all. They was cutting. Okay. Nikki Haley got on Tim Scott like, boo. He said he put that legislation in act, the tax cut um, legislation, uh, what, years ago. She's I've known him for 12 years. And um, go back and check it out. Go back and look at it. She was like, and honey, you ain't did nothing since then. I was like, whoa, they were ripping, okay? But I like how it was less of that and more on the issue. Whereas the first debate, it just seemed like they was just cutting each other left and right. And I like, I believe it was Vivek saying, you know, we don't need to be up here doing that with each other. Everybody is great on the stage. We need to come together and work together. Work together. Not tearing each other down because it's going to take a whole team of Democrats and Republicans to work together so we can make America great again. Because what's going on right now ain't it. And y'all know that. Whether you are left or right, in the middle, or, 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 or not on any side, you seeing what's going on. But you better pick a side and pick the right side so we can see some change. No vote, no voice. And I'm standing on that. Don't nobody want to hear about your complaining. If you're not going to pick a side and, and pick a vote and make a vote, then I mean, you're silent. You're not contributing 
to our society in a positive way in regards to the election process. Not in your life. So let's be clear what I'm saying. I'm saying in regards to the election process, you're not helping us all. You're not helping us. We need a, We need your vote and we need the right vote. Okay. So let's tap into this comment section. What do y'all think about the GOP guys? I mean, felt good about this one. So I'm like, oh, they coming up. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Share the video if you like and you feel valued of this video and this content. Keep coming back. Keep subscribing. Keep sharing. And I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.